Maybe you've lived through or are living through your own storm. The problem is that most people don't know how to profit from their problems. Most people never learn how to harvest their hurts, how to learn from their losses. Mature believers though, they do those things. They advance through adversity. And if you don't do that, instead of becoming better, you're gonna become bitter and God's not gonna be able to use you the way that he wants to. So you gotta trust him in difficult situations that even when it looks like everything is breaking down around you, if you trust in the Lord, you can experience incredible breakthrough and see God work in mighty, miraculous ways. When you feel and see nothing, believe by faith that God is up to something. You see, the struggle is a setup. When Joseph was falsely accused and put into prison for 13 years, 13 years he was put into prison at a hard spot, hard season. This is what Psalm says about him in 105, 18. It says that he was laid in chains of iron and his soul entered into that iron. That's a powerful verse. What is that saying? That's saying there was something that happened on the inside of him when he was put into a hard place. Perseverance grew. His prayer life grew. His faith grew. Strength grew on the inside. There was something that happened in that place when he was chained up, when he was in prison, that could only be solidified in him during that place, during that hard time. What am I saying, friends? There are some things that only come to us spiritually the hard way. And they're not fun and, and we don't like to praise and shout about it. But the reality is, is there is great hope knowing that though it's hard, God is up to something. That though it is hard, God is doing a significant work in my life. That though it is hard, God is preparing me for something that is ahead of me. If you believe it, can you say amen? Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just gotta quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're gonna see exactly why it went that way. And you're gonna be okay with it. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. And though he slay me, yet shall I trust him. You see, in order to develop real quality, it takes time and it takes pain and it takes endurance and it takes grief and it takes trouble and it takes turmoil and it takes destruction and demolition. Demolition is a messy thing. If you get ready to remodel your house, expect to have some mess. I want you to see it almost like a seed. All of you have seeds in your life, dreams and potential. Well, a seed doesn't germinate and grow just sitting on a shelf in light, nice and cozy and comfortable. A seed has to be taken and it must be buried into a dark place. It must be buried into a hard place. It must sit in a place that's hard for it to germinate, for it to grow, for the potential that is on the inside of it to come to fruition. And the same goes for our lives is yes, there's mountaintop moments and there's hills and they're great and they're awesome and I love living there. But there are also seasons to our journey where we come into a hard place, hard season, lonely times, it gets difficult and it's in those seasons where God is wanting to bring something out from the inside. God wants to do something. I wanna encourage you, don't complain. If you're in a hard season right now, recognize the opportunity that is before you to allow God to do whatever it is that he's designed to do in this season. There is something significant that God is wanting to draw out of you in this hard time. You see, if you're going through some dirt as a believer, be reminded that the dirt is necessary for the seed to become all it was created to be. There's gotta be a little bit of dirt in our lives at times for God's promise to be fulfilled. And often I'll, I'll see people, they go through hardship, they go through tragedy, and they make the mistake of running from God. They run from God, they get mad at God, they become disappointed in their situation, and they run from God. And I understand that human reaction, but my question would be, who are you running to? 
Who are you gonna run to? If you're running from the one person who loves you faithfully and actually has the power to help you and heal you, who are you running to? That's a mistake. Don't run from God. If you're going through a hardship, turn to God. Draw near to God. Romans 8, 28, and we know that God causes some things. Is that what it says? No, it says we know that God causes what? All things to work for good for those who are in Christ Jesus or for those who are called according to his purpose. God has a purpose for your life, a distinct plan for your life that you are called to. God shaped the plan and then he shaped you for that plan specifically. You are called according to a purpose, meaning that everything in your life has a purpose. God can use it. God can bring something out of it. There are methods to your purpose being carried out. God uses methods to carry them out. He uses easy seasons and easy things and easy moments, things that come quickly, spontaneous, special moments that are fast and supernatural, but he also uses things that are difficult and that are hard and they're just as supernatural and they carry his purpose out. You see, hard is not the preferred method, but it's necessary at times. And this is so encouraging for us because you'll go through many things in your life that are not good. Being laid off is not good. Going through a divorce, not good. Having a miscarriage, not good. Having your father in the hospital is not good. But when you put these things in God's hands, when you trust him over time, you have the promise that he is going to work all these things together for good. That means that if it's not good, God's not done. He's still working. If you say, well, it's not good yet, that means God's not done. He's still working it together. He's still moving in ways you don't even see. Sometimes it's not till later that you look back and realize how he worked it together for good. So in the meantime, even when you don't understand what he's doing, trust in who he is. You know his heart. You know that he's faithful. You know that he's lo he loves you and he has a plan for your life. So don't fight the dark places, the hard times, grow in them. Don't fight them, grow in them. There may be dirt all around you, it's comfortable, but that dirt is not there to stop you. It's there to bring out the greatness in you. My encouragement is seek his best over easy. And when you do that, I believe that you'll reach your destiny. That in this season, when you seek his best and not easy, you will fulfill your destiny. You will go to new levels, you will pass tests, you will get what he was wanting you to get in this season for what huge things he has for you ahead. Let's trust him. Let's grow. Let's be mature believers, amen?